set notation, you will find this on page 64 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Set notation. In our daily life, we often come across different collections of objects. For instance, a herd of cows, a pack of dogs, a school of fish. In mathematics, a group or collection of objects is called a set. A set is a collection of objects, numbers or symbols, which are clearly identified and are listed inside curly brackets. Sets are usually named using capital letters, for example, A, B, C. The individual object in the set are called the elements or the members of the set. The elements of a set may be specified in two ways, by listing the elements or by, describe, by description. But let's look at it, the describing or description. Listing the elements. List each element separated by a comma, for example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, or the letters of the alphabet, A, E, I, O, U. Or a description, we also describe a set in words. Okay, if I describe this set, I will say the odd numbers between 0 and 10. Okay, or if I want to describe this set, the vowels in the alphabet. Note, sets are unordered, which means the object in the set do not have to be listed in any particular order. The set A above could easily be written as A and then just mixing the order. The brackets, the curly brackets, the bracket stands for the word the set of. Remember that. In set notation, the Greek letter epsilon, you see there, says that something is an element of a set. Okay, is the element of. Or if there's a stripe through, is not an element of. So if A is this, then 1 is an element of A, read as 1 is an element of A, and 2 is not an element of A. The number of elements in a set A is indicated by NA. Therefore, set A has five elements. We write NA as equal to five. So N stands for the number of elements. It is called the cardinal number. Okay. N brackets indicate the total number of elements in a set. So let's look at an example. Given that set C, the letters of the word wood, List the elements of set C, okay? So, just remember, when we're listing the elements of a set, identical elements are not repeated. So, there's just a W, a O, don't, don't try two O's, and one D. Okay, find NC, and NC, how many elements are there in the set? Don't count that, count in the set. So, it's one, two, three, okay? I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Given that CD is the letters of the words word probability, okay, list the elements of set D. So let's just start. Okay, so if I say, then I will say D equals, and now I have to curly brackets, there's a P, there's a R, there's a O, there's a B, you can actually, it's prop, until you start repeating. B, okay. Uh, there's a I, okay, let's just rewrite that, it's not nice and clear. There's a I, and there's a L, and there's a T, and there's a Y. Okay, so probability. So one, two, three, four, let's just see. Um, so the P, the R, the O, the B, the A, 
but the B is already there, so that's why I jump to the I, and then the L, the I is already there, then the T and the Y. Okay, so in the, the next one, um, they ask me MD, so that means the number of elements. And you can basically just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the number or the cardinal number will be 9. Okay, let's look at another example. Example 2. List the elements of set E, okay, and different regions in Namibia. And then is Windhoek an element of E, state in E. So the different regions in Namibia. So it will be Sambesi, Irongo, Hardap, Karas, Kavango, Komas, Kunini, Oanguena, Omaheke, Omusani, uh, um, Omusati, Oshana, Oshikotu, Ochishanjupa. Okay. So is Windhoek an element? No. Because Windhoek is the capital city of, city of Namibia. It's in the region Comas, okay, so it's not a region, it's a city. And then state in E, so how many elements, how many regions are there in Namibia? There will be 13, okay. Again, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Uh, list the elements of the set F, and that will be the days of the week. Okay, so let's start. What is the, f the first working day? That will be Monday. And then make the comma, and then it will be Tuesday. And then make the comma, and it will be Witness Wednesday. I'm just saying it as I'm going to spell it, but it's Wednesday. Okay, and then it's going to be Thursday. And then the nice day, Friday. And then usually the weekend, Saturday. And then the resting day again, Sunday. Okay, let's just see. And then I just close the bracket. Okay, and then is April and then no, 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 so why not? And uh, she's saying no, and I'm just going to give it to you in words because April is a month of the year, but it's just no, okay. And then the final one, state in F, so in, how many days are there in a week? The cardinal number, and that will just be seven, and that's the final answer. In the next video, we will look at set builder notation.